just because of the speaker of your church and it's written from Jerusalem, then we say this is not witchcraft. But it is the same practice. Some of the women, they, they've been told that during the night, around 12 o'clock, open that oil, speak and call your husband wherever he is. So those are witchcraft practices in the church. Thank you, sir.
of presence of this uh, yes. 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 and the person in the their right hey. to practice, yes. which I may not necessarily go into this because I do not I don't understand what it is. However, as they come to the hospital, we are here and we are practicing and you are including that they are with you in the spirit of this child. But what they are understanding is not see what you are saying, yes. but learning using the same language as they use, mm. which might be different. Family as a primary institution has collapsed. Mm. as we speak in South Africa. Faced with divorce, with a lot of things. Abuses, sexual abuses, which we do not know such a magnitude, you know, epidemic, if I would say, because it's out of hand, it comes there. Mm. How do you see us, if there's any a, a chance, restoring this institution of a family? If, you know, mm. if there is a chance of ensuring, you know, that we can be done. Spirit is the missionary is talking about. I suppose is the spirit of the good, Mara. The spirit that you are talking about, the spirit among these that we live in, is always about yes. building community. Yes. 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 But also I touched on the issue of the wish of God, because to say there's a community in South Africa that needs that wish and wish their wishes. It's a white community, majority is white community. And they're practicing it. Not in a bad way, but I'm not sure whether in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bad way. But it, it's something that is there. Because I'm wary of the name that we may use as it comes to that we, we claim that we are as rich as we know it. You know, how do we handle that? We know that we got a community that says clearly what we think about is not something to do because we're not going to do with this. I think we will have so to, we will, we will have to invite them to explain to us what we can think for them. For now, we take the definition of the which have to explain it. But they don't have to come and tell us what is what do they define as which they say is because that will help us to define the difference here. Okay. Okay? Thank okay. you. All right. Thank you so much. Mr. Chair, for giving clarity, and also thank you for the question, Commissioner Mbele. When coming to my own understanding or definition about the, the water spirits, looking into a context where we, we have our own, our own people who go through initiation, maybe they were sick and they, they had to go through that road, and after the initiation, they are, they are healed. It, it shows that the process that has been taken has a spiritual influence and spiritual influence is something that is above our human ability something that the doctors could not do but here they are they are healed but when i refer to the the, the water spirits remember the bible says those shall not worship any other god it been it means even the elements that are created by god we cannot worship them but when we talk about water spirits it is when you start bowing down to that water, that river, putting candles there and asking life or blessings from that particular river. Remember, there are elements. I think uh, uh, Commissioner Mbele can relate with me on this. When I was a false prophet by then, I had even traditional people coming to me for, for strength. I would, I would give them strength. I had bishops of, of churches that I would give them strength. 
and also I was at a position where uh, I was I was giving charismatic leaders uh, powers to prophesy. So I was at a particular position of understanding deep these spiritual things. So there are elements: the water, the fire, the air. That is the reason uh, when a person says that wapatla, they use those elements, whether it's in burning candles or in the 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 content is the element. So here we are talking about the, the element of water, which one goes there and asks for forgiveness. The energy that comes there, you start worshipping it. And that is what we call it a marine spirit. It has a particular spirit which I cannot define. In my instant, I was, I was fortunate enough to even encounter this particular thing. So, so in this instant, it is when you know with your heart that I am not using this water but i am worshiping this water so worshiping the element that is where it becomes a marine kingdom because of we can't run away from the fact that we need this element as part of our, of our body because we need water to drink and we we've got heat in our body we need air to breathe we, we also depend on this particular element but there are those who are called spiritualist this spiritualist uh, my experience in the West Africa, you know, in here in South Africa, you've got uh, people who are able to throw the bones down and they interpret the bones. But there is very different. You find a man seated there and the man will, will just look at you. Those are spiritualists. Others, they put on the long rope, the dress with red or different colors. And you see... Down there, they took water, they put it there, and they're able to, to show you uh, or, or to tell you your future or your past experience. So these are spiritualists who use water as a religion. Whatever they do, they go to that particular water, and they are not worshipping, uh, I mean, they are worshipping the spirit from that particular water. So uh, the marine spirit, it is when a particular church worships water whether it's publicly or privately now when coming to what we call faith healing this is a very interesting question and uh, i i hope south african will also have a a clarity on this one because it is the the searching for healing that makes people to go to this church this church are associated with healing but as a spiritual person who, who, who understand, maybe in the context of the commissioner, who understand healing in their own context, will know that the healing can still take place in different forms. The healing can still take place whether you use panado, is healing at the end of the day, whether you go through that process here, uktwasa, the person will tell you that I am healed. So healing can take place in different ways. So the faith healing that has been practiced in these churches, it is not a Christian healing. The reason why I'm saying it is not a Christian healing, it is because these people, they use different forms of religion combined in one umbrella. There is what we call the Riki. Riki is energy, being able to transfer energy using your own hand. So if you look at your television, you look at how these people perform. They make you to stand there. They put their hand on your forehead. That is Ricky. And they, they put it for a while. They start shaking it like it's vibrating. And they move as they move it. Those are Ricky practices. So you are able to see different forms of, of other religion or spiritual elements that has been embraced or under one umbrella. And they say it's Christianity. So the, the faith healing it, it comes in different ways. Others have been given water. Others are given different things. Others, they give you what they call uh, instruction. You must go and do one, two, three, one, two, three. So at the end of the day, you see healing. So healing in these uh, uh, churches, they are not Christian based. They, they do what other, they, they've adopted what other religion traditional they come and steal and they go to hindu they steal they go to other religion and they make their own religion when coming to the issue of the tents 
Once you join this secret society, you, you are given a name. And in this book, I have spoken about the name that they gave me, which was called Katakata. That is the reason a lot of uh, members of secret cults, they don't use their names which appear on the ID number. Where there's a pastor, he will start coming with new names. Because you have to use names that are associated with the particular demon. Or a name that will make whosoever will mention that name will be under your spell. So the name that I was given, I was instructed that in the posters or the flyers that I should distribute, I should put that particular name. So that whosoever touches and call that name will start believing. It's a spiritual connection. So that is the reason why there will be a clash between the South African traditional doctors who've got their own tents, and here we are, we've got people who come with names we don't understand, and they are all over, and even the church leaders have adopted this particular name. We no longer have pastors. We no longer have uh, 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 titles that they are from the Bible. These days we've got uh, forensic whosoever, we've got bazooka whosoever, we've got ganda ganda. So, so you see that there are particular names that are associated to this particular cult. So it is in connection with the cult, the issue of the names. Coming to the issue of the dream or manipulation, mind <coughs> manipulation. I will go back to the issue of the healing because this is how it happens. They, they make those who are sick to stand there and they will say, look at me in the eye. The pastor will look at the, the one who's sick direct in the eye for some time and you wonder what is happening. Remember the eye is a, the window to the soul. So there is a transference of that particular spirit from the pastor into this person's eye. For some time as the pastor is looking into the eye of this person, he will start to control. So there's what we call mind transference, thought transference. They control it from your thoughts. Others, they can hear you. They can hear the voice of the pastor telling you to do whatever they want you to do. So the thought transference does not only end in that church. You can be home. You can be wheresoever. The pastor that is where witchcraft comes, the term witchcraft, using or manipulating powers for personal gain or for evil. So they use the mind control or calling of the soul. During the night, they can call your soul and give you instruction. They can say, we want you so and so to come and give 10,000 tomorrow. Then as you are seated, you just feel normal. I need to give my pastor man. Where does it come? It comes from the thought. Where does the thought come? It comes from the thought transference. That is witchcraft. So these people are able to send certain thoughts to their victims. So the issue of the dream and also the mind manipulation, it comes from there. But it does not end there. Maybe the, the, the commissioner will also uh, help me on this one. Because when I was a false prophet, I remember I, they taught me this technique where you are able to take what you call African potato. There's African potato. If you take African potato, you boil it. You boil it and it becomes more like brown. You take that water, you give it to somebody else. And after drinking that water, the person will, I can't say they hallucinate, but they are on a certain trend. And it is like a, a spiritual encounter where you are able to see things that normal people they don't see. That is African potato. Now, I used to take the African potato, then I would cook it, mix it with porridge, and give it to people to eat. That is the reason churches, most of these cult churches, they have what we call the eating. Eating is involved because most of the mutis are involved in the eating. There are something that has been mixed. This is not a normal eating where they invite a catering company, Mr. Chair. Mm. 
It is a eating that the, the prophet has brought his oil and said, pour it there so that members of my church can eat. This is an eating where the prophet has brought water and said, mix it there so that whosoever eats will be connected to the church. So during that time, I will mix porridge, mix with this water, give it to people. People, they will eat as porridge, but it will be sour. As they eat it, they go to these trends. Most of the traditional doctors, they say, Obona spili. It is like if Obatobona manabahao, or if you want to see who is be bewitching you. So they use this road where they give you something there, they put a white cloth and say, You must just sit there. And out of a Sunday, you start to see something like a movie. You start to see your grandmother. So all those is hallucination. So the issue of the dreams, mind control, it is a built up process. You don't just dream. There are things that has been put together for you to reach that level where you dream. And those dreams are manipulated because there is an element of witchcraft in those dreams. I will come to the issue of the family. It is very sad where you see churches are being responsible to cause divorce these days. Church leaders are mentioned in a lot of divorce experiences. Why am I saying this? A lot of women who attend church and their husband, they don't attend church. They go to the church, they go to one-on-one -on -one consultation, and when they go to one-on-one -on -one consultation, they speak because they believe the pastor will help them. They even speak on how they are not satisfied in the bedroom. They are talking to another man. Another man who has more influence on their life. And where does it end? It, it ends in tears where the woman becomes the victim of abuse. We've got instances where these so-called spiritual leaders or spiritual fathers or papa once there's that title you should be conscious and say here yeah, somebody has more power than the husband at home because the papa or the spiritual father is the one who will give instruction on when you should have on or, or on where you should be intimate with your partner because the papa controls everything. So the only way to restore families, it is when we go back to the word of God. When we, we teach people that a pastor does not have final authority in your marriage. When God created Adam and Eve, he never created a pastor next to them to control their marriage. So family, it, we, we need to restore or we need to teach women to respect their husband at home. Even if their husband are not waking, Mr. Chair. Women should stop talking the weaknesses of their husband to another man who's not even faithful to their wife. Because a lot of these church leaders, they've got affairs. So you come, you bring you, your own family issue to another man who is failing, some of these leaders, they have divorced a uh, 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 second time, third time. And some of them, they're even on a process of divorce as we speak. But look at the women who are going for marriage counseling to such leaders. So we need to re-educate uh, uh, women, empowering women, that women, we know that you've got issues, but don't take your issues to your spiritual leader. Women should come back have a conversation, have a society, not secret society, but a, a, a society where they are able to help one another. Women should counsel women. And in a case where we have a marriage counseling, we need professionals. Because these days it seems as if when you are a pastor, you've got a ticket and an advantage to become a marriage counselor a financial advisor, all these things without a, a formal training. So you find a young man here, maybe of my age, seated doing counseling to an older woman who is talking deep and sexual content. And what happens in that? It will always create an uncomfortable 
environment. So we need to understand and say, pastors, they should do marriage counseling. They should be trained because they will be dealing with families. It is not knowing the scriptures or the Bible only that makes you a qualified marriage counselor. So we need professionalism. We need to educate the members of the church that they need to acquire professional help for the fact that the pastor speaks in tongues does not make him a qualified marriage officer or counselor. I think I have answered you.